folks. We got the mini PCR. I'm gonna be doing an unboxing. We got the, one of the lab kits. Um, yeah, I don't think I need to say any much any anymore. We'll just get into it. Super stoked on this. Gonna start sequencing cordyceps mushrooms that we find in the wild. Also going to do sequences of the insect hosts uh, that we find because a lot of times we can't even identify them. All right, so first thing we got in here, 500, 1.7 milliliter uh, micro centrifuge tubes. is our Tris Borate um, EDTA. And this is what we're going to use um, for gel electrophoresis. We've got a little accessory pack here, Agaros, more tubes, and I'm not sure what's in the black bag there. Oh, we have the gel green stain, the nucleic acid stain. Um, and that's what we're gonna use to um, dye the um, DNA that we put into the gel electrophoresis box. Uh, we've got a bunch of pipettes, pipette tips. I have one micro pipette, two Ooh. micro pipettes, and you got two? Three micro pipettes, three? they're all different sizes. Oh. Um, so we have the two to 20. Uh, we have the 0.5 to 10, and we have the two, 20 to 200. More pipette tips. Um, and then we have our Gyro Plus Micro Centrifuge. So I have a, another larger centrifuge um, down in the basement, but um, this one's portable. The one that's down in the basement, I wouldn't want to take it. It's very, very heavy. Um, the one I have in the basement, so I don't want to take it places, but this one's going to be nice for traveling. Because, you know, you don't, you might want to be extracting DNA in the middle of the woods, you know. You might be out on a, on an adventure uh, where you're out foraging and finding all sorts of things. So we have the micro centrifuge here. So um, This centrifuge is great because we can travel with it. Um, just like I said earlier, my other centrifuge is too big and I can't take it anywhere. All right, next up, we need the knife again. We have our blue gel electrophoresis box and this is really cool. Uh, because you don't need uh, a lot of the other gel electrophoresis box, you need an external power source. Um, and this one, you don't need an external power source. Plus, it, it lights up from underneath, so you don't need um, another illuminator. So, there we have it the blue gel electrophoresis box. Um, and we don't need an external power source, which is super dope, and we don't need an uh, external illuminator either. And there it is, the Clem de la Clem. Mm -hmm. And I did have another PCR. Um, it's old, like really, it's a really old model. Um, a lot of people end up getting, um, old lab equipment that's been used and things like that just to, so it's affordable but um, it's really cool that we can get a new piece of equipment um, that is also very affordable and this is the polymerase chain reaction machine um, and it also uh, works as a heat block so we can use this for incubating um, as well as doing our DNA amplification and there we have it our mini PCR Clean, clean. Yeah. And all of the 
accessories that go along with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up in the lab. Um, and then I have some more reagents and primers and things like that coming in from the Odin. Um, shout out to Josiah and friends. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and get started um, doing our sequencing of our insects and our sequencing of our cordyceps mushrooms very, very soon. So stay tuned, I'll be putting up some informational videos on what I'm doing down there. Propagate my ciliate.